billiards.com.au more than just billiards come to our online store for great value This game of snooker is probably the most demanding, difficult and exacting ball game played. And if you want to become a good player, then you must be prepared to practice long hours. Now before showing you some ball play, I'd like to show you a few good pointers that are going to help you with your game of snooker. In the selection of the cue, there are four things to look for. Firstly, make sure that the cue is straight. You can do that by sighting down the cue. Secondly, this point. Now it should be where the points of butt meet the shaft. That cue would be well balanced. Third point is the length of your cue. With the butt of the cue to the floor, the cue should reach approximately one inch below your shoulder. And make sure that there is good timber in the cue, either English ash in the shaft or Canadian maple with ebony in the butt. On the tip, I suggest an elk hide tip, and it should be dome-shaped, the same as looking at the end of your finger. Now you have a dome-shaped tip striking a round ball. The chalk, I prefer triangle brim, and has a resin action. So you should not go scrubbing into the tip because you're only going to wear away a good tip. It's a light, smooth rub of the chalk every second or third shot. The grip of the cue should be of a firm nature. In taking your grip on the butt of the cue, it's very important to make sure that all four finger pads are gripping the cue. This in turn will pull the butt of the cue right up into the palm of the hand so that it becomes a full butted grip. The thumb is not to go on top of the cue or the side let it ride by the cue, taking the grip only with the four fingers and the palm of hand. The function of the bridge hand is to form an immovable cradle for the cue to run in. And to get that in placing your bridge hand, make sure that your forward balance weight is going onto the palm of your hand and all four finger pads. And with the four fingers felt bridge for stability, it is a full blooded grip to ensure that your cue doesn't move. Cock the thumb high on meeting the four finger for support. That makes a nice deep trough for the cue to run in and by placing your bridge hand approximately 10 inches from the white ball, there's a beautiful bridge hand that is not going to allow the cue to move. With forming the stands, it should be both comfortable and solid. Distance between the two feet is only governed by how tall you are. Turn your right toe slightly forward for comfort, as it's uncomfortable being square, slightly forward. Left toe is pointing in approximately the same direction. The right knee stays straight because that straight right leg is one of your anchor points. The left knee, however, does bend, thus allowing your forward body balance to come over the bent left knee onto the palm of your bridge hand. There's your body balance nicely forward. Even a power shot, your body shouldn't move. The art of any big game is cue ball control. And the way to keep the cue ball under control is a combination of two things. Where you're going to strike the white ball around the circumference for the tip of your cue and the speed you're going to strike the white ball at. Where you strike the white ball, that will determine the line that the cue ball is going to take after it leaves the object ball and the power that you put into the shot determines how far the light's going to travel. Here's a shot applying top spin to the wide ball to make the cue ball, the wide ball, follow through behind the object ball. The striking point is 12 o'clock, top dead center. Make sure that striking the cue ball that your cue follows through, very important strategy. Another important shot in a game of snooker is the sun shot, where your intention is to stop the white ball immediately on striking the object ball. Now the striking point on the cue ball for this shot is just below the centre of the white ball. A nice brisk stroke, and on striking the cue ball, stop the cue so that there is no follow through of the cue whatsoever. And the white ball will stop right where the object ball is. And here's a shot that practically every snooker player would like to be able to play successfully. The draw shot or the deep brew shot. The idea here is to play the red ball and through the wide ball right back to the side cushion to be nicely here for the black end of the corner pocket. Now it's very low on the wide ball for this shot. Six o'clock or bottom dead centre. And again we are back to allowing the cue to follow through after impact on the wide ball. It's going to be a power shot so you should have chalked your tip well. Low to the white ball. Don't be frightened and let the cue go through. And here it is. Nicely on the black, with a nice steady shot, pocket the back wall. And here's three shots showing the effects of side spin when applied to the cue ball. Now firstly, if you strike the cue ball dead centre, it should cross the table, return to the cue. 
but if struck on the right, it will pull to the right when it's the far cushion. And if struck on the left, it will travel in a straight line till it hits the rubber cushion over there, but the side spin then grips the rudder and pulls it to the left. Well, that's all easy enough, but now we're coming to something more difficult, and that's the white ball close to the cushion rail. And what so many players do here that's totally wrong is to go right up in the air with their cue to be able to strike the white ball lights. Now, this means that your good stance is gone, your cue action will be missing, and you're certainly not sighting shots from here, you're only guessing the potting angle. The thing to do is to adopt your normal stance, get right down with your chin on the cue, shorten up in front, make sure that your cue doesn't touch cushion rail, don't try and strike the ball, just a smooth push. And here's another difficult position that can crop up in the game of nuka, bridging over balls. Now the way to get your cue tip up safely here and not create a foul shot is to get the palm of your hand right up off the table. Because my little finger is shorter, I take that off the table as well, and the forefinger, get that tucked up against the index finger, thumb cocked high, giving a nice trough of the cue to run in, and then playing off two fingers only, normal stance, chin down to the cue, and with a nice smooth action, it's a smooth push. And the shot will be successful, and you're not going to play a foul shot by touching those reds. Now you can only blame yourself if you're missing shots on a good billiard table. This is a magnificent billiard table. It's a Duke of Edinburgh billiard table made by Orca Thompson and Taylor almost 90 years ago. And to show you three different shots that can be played in compiling breaks at snare, first I'd like to show you this stun shot on the rim of the corner for the black, a screw shot off the black, which is a power shot, to be back near the cushion to finally cut the last red into the corner pot. The stun shot first, the medium powered shot. Coming back off the black, the next red, low on the white, to let you go through. And the final red into the corner, a very fine cut. Snook it on the black by the two reds. Here's an opportunity to get out of snooker without using cushions. A very good way to practice. The lineup. The idea is to pocket all the balls without a miss, and that's good potting practice, and to do it without the cue ball ever touching cushion, and that's certainly good cue ball control. Once again, it's difficult to start with, but with practice, it does become easier. In compiling big breaks at snooker, the use of the black ball, a higher scoring ball is essential. And I practice by pocketing the black off its spot upward of 200 times. Just a short series and working towards that 200 spots off the spot. So there you are. Although I've said snooker is a very difficult and exacting game, I'm quite sure that if you are as keen on the game of snooker as I have been over the years, you're going to get many hours of enjoyment the same as I have.